Hi, this is Paul on the road, and I'm Paul. Well, I'm back at uh, Barrett Jackson, and uh, let's see what we can find. One of y'all mentioned this car in the comments, so I thought I would film it. A 1953 Kindig, uh, Barrett Jackson edition custom roadster. The body is all carbon fiber. The engine is a 427, making 682. Uh, horsepower to the rear wheels. Tastefully done, not not overdone, which is nice because it's modeled after a 53 Corvette and they were pretty pretty basic. I'm in the Kindig booth and there's Dave Kindig right there signing autographs. Nineteen sixty two Oldsmobile Starfire convertible uh, has the uh, big 394 engine in it, 394 cubic inch engine. In it. 1951 Chevrolet 3100. Uh, these these trucks were called AD. That was the uh, General Motors um, platform name for them, and the AD stood for Advanced Design. This one actually is Advanced Design. It's got a late model small block with air conditioning and it's on a uh, s10 chassis actually but i mean the detail and the work on this thing is amazing he uh he made a you can see that this 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 kind of curves to the shape of the cab just just a very well done car, truck. This is very cool. This is an Amphicar. car. You probably may have seen these before. It is a car and boat. And I will show you the propellers and all that in a second here. Seven miles an hour on land and seven miles an hour in the water. They've got the exhaust high so that it doesn't uh, go in the water and when you if the engine stalled it would suck a mouthful of water in and destroy the engine so they put it up high and then you can see the props down there and i just heard somebody say this thing will do seven miles an hour in the water i'm not sure what it'll do on land probably 35 40. 1963 corvette grand sport recreation and i'm guessing that on the grand sports they must have cut that center pillar out because the 63 bet would have a split rear window VW bus, also known as a Samba. This is a 23 window, and this thing will go for uh, incredible money. I, I don't uh, understand it, but uh, these things, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing made 200 grand. That's that's uh, that's how popular they are. I always like the power wagons. This one is uh, 1948, I believe. Yes, 1948. Um, it is still, it still sports the original running gear. So what a cool truck this is. Nineteen sixty nine Mach one with a four twenty eight drag pack. Rare one of one is what they're saying here on the board. <laughs> 
1967 Chevy Nova. I love these things. This is a very desirable car these days. Looks like it's got a big block with dual dual quads on it. Let's see what it says here. Oh no, it's a small block. It's a 383 700 R, 373 gears. This seems to be a nice driver. Not a big fan of orange, but this really looks good. This burnt orange on it. 1957 International Metro. Now the thing is bagged. It uh, you can see that it's literally sitting on the ground. So it has airbag suspension. So you start it up and, and hit a switch and bring the thing up to a, to whatever ride height um, you've got. I love the patina finish. I, I I'm a big fan of this. That's uh, pretty cool, isn't it? A lot of nice, nice metal work done inside. The the uh, the doghouse uh, was was custom made. I can see. Exhaust coming out of the side here. Let's get a look at the back. I talked about a bubble top yesterday, and this is the Chevrolet version. This, I believe, is a 61. I'll check when I get out in front, but I think it's a 61. car looks pretty stock it's a 409 with dual quads four speed got wildwood brakes um, which even though it's not stock it's a nice upgrade because when you've got this kind of horsepower you need to be able to stop it there's even a 1950 Spartan Royal Mansion here that it'll go across the block I think 1050 Lot number is probably going to go across Friday, maybe Saturday. But man, this thing is is cool, way cool. Let's see if we can step inside without getting yelled at. Oh, how cool is this? Oh, it's even got a nice espresso machine. Very nice touch. And I love that vintage uh, refrigerator. Take a look at the head here. So it's a wet bath. Of course, mean, that means if you're not familiar with that term, that just means that the, uh, the whole bathroom gets wet when you take a shower. And there's the drain in the floor right there. And I would imagine you have to, you if you're smart, you take that toilet paper out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that toilet paper stand out when you're going to take a shower. Yeah, it looks like a double bed. An early ad for the uh, Spartan. 1965 Lincoln Continental Presidential. This was in the uh, fleet for LBJ, Nixon, and I uh, think Ford. It has hauled around a number of famous people. LBJ, Nixon, and Ford. It was sold uh, under the, uh, it says it was sold under the Carter administration and sent to Portland. And was used in parades there. Very clean 1960 MGA. Uh, this thing has been converted. It has a later model engine and it. it has an 1800 in it instead of the uh, 1600 or what was it originally? Yeah, it was a 1600 originally. So it has a little more power. It's very nicely done. Let's take a look at the interior. Got the racing headrest on it here. 1969 Dodge A108 custom van. The engine is between the seats on this one. I don't know if it's going to come through. Very nicely done though. It's a uh, beautiful paint. The Nash Rambler roll top. I would expect to see Lois Lane getting out of this thing. Exactly. Yep, it is. This was what Lois drove. Oh yeah. I don't the color. I want to get the yeah. Just talking to somebody that knew the history, knew the uh, the series, the Superman series. Uh, Lois drove this, and Superman. I don't know if he drove it in, throughout the whole series, but I know he drove a Nash Healy uh, for a while. And hopefully, I don't know if there's any here. I haven't seen one yet, but if uh, if I do, I guarantee you I will film it. Now this is still powered by the original three, six cylinder to a three speed manual trans. But what a cool car this would be to have. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I just got off the bus and I'm heading back to edit this, uh, the, edit the footage and, uh, and hope it turns out good. So, uh, well, you already know if it's good or not because you just watched it. So thank you for that and uh, see you in the next video.